Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Well, we're continuing our customizing a 2011 uh, police bike, and I've heard a lot of comments from people that you know one of the biggest problems in painting or uh, customizing a motorcycle is this little guy. Yeah, the fuel gauge. Yeah, it pops out really nice, but guess what? We've got this guy on the bottom, and of course, it's not going to pull through. With this guy on the end of it. Now I've seen some pretty bad hack jobs. I mean I've seen cut with scissors, I've seen it twined together with the electrical connectors from Lowe's. Uh, this really drives a lot of people nuts. Let me see if I can help you out in understanding this and maybe you'll be able to master how to take one of these apart. All right now it is a four pin connector. We have pins on here. It's a four pin connector, but we only have three wires. So let's keep that in mind. Okay. So what I do is I usually take a pick and right on the area where the pin goes through, I mark it Y for yellow, O for orange, and then BK for black. All right. So I know which one it goes in when I've taken it off because I'm going to be celebrating. I already got this off and I'll forget which one it goes in. Now you can match it with the other wire you know, connection on the bike. Sure, if that's the way you want, but I like to mark it so I don't have to think twice. I can just put them back in. All right, in disassembling this, Harley Davidson has made one with a back that has a flip on it. Let's see if I can, uh, I tried making some pictures for you. This is the back of the connector, all right? And there's this piece that flips up. And all you have to do is take a screwdriver on either end and flip it down. That's the first procedure in getting these out. You have to get this thing out of the way, otherwise they're not going to back off. All right, so first thing is flip that down. All right, now a little close up, see if I can, this picture isn't the best, but you're going to see in, you're going to see four, like I said, all right, and only three of these are going to be needed. Now, the area you need to get into is this little black hole, well, black square, I guess you could call it. All right, now, here's a little something I'll have my cameraman take a look at. All right, the easy tool is a paper clip. All right, what we do is you straighten it out, all right, then take a file, and I want the end to be with a bevel on either side, okay? Yeah, that's why I brought this out because it's real hard to see that on this. All right, so the end product would be this. All right, and the reason you want that bevel is getting back to a photograph, you are going to insert that beveled area of the paper clip into that black hole. There is a clip that you feed the paper clip in feel it and kind of press it away from the pin, the electrical connector. So it's an insert, then bring it down and, and at the same time, I know it sounds difficult, but at the same time you're on the back of the wire and the minute you get this clip out of the way, it'll pull out. Now of course it takes practice, it takes a feel. All right, so make yourself a tool that will fit inside those little squares insert it and you'll feel it coming to an end push just a little bit more and then down and pull on the wire it will come out i promise you it's frustrating but you can get the feel and once you do that comes out all right then these just pop in there's nothing holding them you can pull this out of the way. Every painter loves to have this out of the way so they can paint around this edge so it doesn't start flaking out. So it really is important to get this out of the way. Hope this helps you in disassembling a fuel tank for a painter because this stops a lot of people from getting the best paint job because the painter has to go around it. Little tech tip from Doc Harley at Low Country Harley Davidson.